वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश थर्टी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैट द कंक्रीट कॉलम इज री एनफोर्सड यूजिंग फोर स्टील री एनफोर्सिंग रॉड ईच हैविंग अ डायमीटर ऑफ एटीन मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेस इन कंक्रीट एंड स्टील इफ कॉलम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन एक्जियल लोड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ स्टील इज टू हंड्रेड गेगा पासकल एंड फॉर कंक्रीट इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव गेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज थ्री हंड्रेड बाई थ्री हंड्रेड कंक्रीट कॉलम दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय दिस लोड ऑफ एट हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्ट्रेस टेकन बाय दिस कंक्रीट एंड स्ट्रेस टेकन बाय दिस स्टील सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन नाउ यू कैन सी दैट ड्यू टू दिस लोड दिस लोड विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू कंक्रीट एज वेल एज दिस फोर स्टील रॉड्स सो इफ आई ड्रॉ द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ दिस कॉलम लाइक दिस so if this is 800 kilo newton load clear so the load taken by concrete is pc and the same load sum of load will be taken by steel so the sum total load taken by, uh, by concrete plus steel will be equal to 800 so we will write p of c load taken by concrete plus load taken by steel is equal to 800 or you can also apply equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so minus 800 plus pc plus ps is equal to 0 so we will get pc plus ps is equal to 800 kilo newton so let this is your equation number 1 where pc is the load taken by the concrete ps is load ta load taken by the um, uh, steel okay now we will use compatibility so what is compatibility is that compatibility is that you can see that this load is exerted on this which is causing compression in this four rod as well as in this concrete so we will find, uh, we will say that uh, change in length in steel will be equal to change in length of concrete because they are bonded together with each other so we know that change in length is equal to p into l divided by ae in general so here it change in length in steel will be equal to p of steel into length of steel divide by area of steel into e of steel and that is equal to pc into lc divide by ac into ec since length of steel is equal to length of concrete and they both are this this length clear so we can say that this is equal to l so from here you will get ps into l divided by as into es is equal to pc into l divided by ac into ec ll will cancel with each other so we will left with ps over as into es is equal to pc divided by ac into ec so ps is over there area of steel is equal to pi by 4 times r square and r of this concrete is given as 0.018 so 0.018 square as there are four concrete uh, sorry steel rods so we will multiply it with 4 into e of steel which is 200 giga pascal so 200 into 10 raised to power 9 now which is equal to pc divided by area of concrete so you can see this area of concrete will be equal to 0. Point, this is 0.3 meter and this is also 0.3 meter so 0.3 square minus the area of four four steel rods so minus four area of steel 
so i will write 0 0.3 square minus 4 times pi by 2 to 0 0.018 square so this is the area of concrete so i will write it 0 0.3 square minus 4 times pi by 2 into 0 0.018 square into e of concrete which is 25 gigapascal so 25 into 10 to the power 9 so we will either get ps or pc if you want to have ps so ps will be equal to pc into 4 multiply by pi by 4 into 0 0.018 8 square into 200 into 10 raised to power 9 divided by 0 0.3 square minus 4 times pi by 2 this is also pi by 2 not pi by 4 okay pi by 4 area of circle is pi by 4 d square pi by 4 so this is also pi by 4 pi by 4 into 0 0.018 square into 25 multiply by 10 raised to power 9 let me check this is also pi by 4 not pi by 2 okay so when you solve this you will get p of steel will be equal to 0 0.091513 times p of concrete you will get this let this is your equation number two now put two in equation number one what is equation number one so equation number one is this one pc plus ps so pc plus ps which is 0 0.091513 is equal to times pc is equal to 800 so 800 so from here you will get this p load taken by concrete comes out to be 732.92 kilo newton now you have pc is this one so you can put it put value of pc in equation 2 so this is your equation number 2 so ps load taken by steel is equal to 0 0.091513 times 732.92 and that will be equal to 67.072 kilo newton so this is the load taken by the steel now first we will find uh, stress by concrete which is equal to pc over ac so pc is 732 732.92 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by area of concrete which is equal to 0 0.3 square minus 4 times pi by 4 into radius which is radius of steel bar so when you calculate it you will get uh, stress in concrete comes out to be 8.24 mega pascal now stress in steel rod is equal to ps divided by as so ps is 67.072 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by there are four steel rods so 4 into area of steel pi by 4 0 0.018 square so you will get stress in 
steel rods comes out to be 65.9 mega pascal and this is the answer and that was all about this problem 4-31 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video also provide me your feedback regarding the video whether you are getting uh, knowledge or not if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching